welcome to Rational Scale Modelling. This is part 2 of Revel's F4U 1A Crosshair Scale of 1 to 32 build. In this part, I'm going to be starting the build and concentrating on the cockpit. So let's jump into this and see how well I get on. I'm going to be beginning with the instrument panel, and this is getting painted in Revel Aquacolor 08 Matte Black. Now, the instructions call for a greyish colour, but by the time the decal goes on and um, it won't really matter what color you do this so i'm just putting the standard black on i'm now switching over to Revar color 360 fern green and this is going to be the main color for the cockpit and placing this uh, paint on very thinly so that it gives the sort of more used look i was going to say metallic look but that's not the case because it's a flat paint um also, it depends on the ears or how much they want to put on, but um, you don't want to put on too thick and just build up the colours if necessary. I'm now using Revlon Aquacolor 57 Grey, and this uh, colour change is for the things like the um, control stem st uh, and things like that, any of the main workable parts. And that's all the main colours really for the cockpit. So, I've decided to do the uh, figure in the end. Uh, as I said in part one, I wasn't sure whether I was going to do it. Uh, it's a fairly large figure, it's a quite a simple uh, construction with just the two halves going together. I did have to clamp it a little bit because it is an awkward shape. Back to the instrument panel, now that the paint's dry, I can place on the decal. So this is going on in the usual way, softening up in some warm water first of all, to raise it from the paper. Then I'm treating the plant part with microset uh, this solution allows the decal to conform to any of the ridged areas on the instrument panel itself it takes a little bit of time to dry but um, it will sink in to all the little knots and crannies um, and then will look flat there's a couple of detail uh, decals to go on the bulkhead at the back of the seat you, you don't really have to put these on um, once the seat's on and the pilot's in, you're not actually going to see this little detail. But um, as always, it's up to the uh, builder if they want to place them on. And lastly for the decals, it's the um, instruments for the side part of the cockpit. Now, I cut these up in sections, they all are in one go. But I always find it easier to cut these up in little sections before placing them on. Um, I, I find I have better control of the, the entire decal if I do this. And once each section is cut, I can just uh, apply them on uh, as I go along instead of one big sweeping uh, decal. Which, um, even though with the micro set, it can be uh, quite challenging to get it in place. On to the painting of the pilot. Now, I'm going to make up a, a little bit of colour here. So, first of all, I'm using 57 grey Revo colour. Now, I'm doing this offhand, so um, the measurements are a little bit uh, skewed. But that's getting mixed with 56 blue as it gives it that sort of navy bluish color so it's around about uh i would say about 80 percent 57 and 20 percent 56. And it's just because i've ran out of um the, the, this color on my other paint so I've, I've had to mix it up now the instructions do tell you to mix it up anyway if you're using revel paint but um uh, again I don't think it's um, an accurate representation of the colour of the pilot, but I think it's close enough. But as, as I said again, it's um, up to the builder how, how they want to approach it. The face and hands is 35 flesh, rare aqua colour. For the webbing, I'm using 88 aqua brown. And for the helmet, it's 84 leather brown. And I also use the same colour for the boots. You won't get to see the boots anyway, so you can actually leave them blank out if you wish. I painted this in a very basic way. I've not put any finesse into it. Even though it's a 132 quick, and uh, there's not much detail on the uh, pilot as well. Uh, it's selfish, it's honest, I should say. So um, I didn't think it was wanted putting so much detail into it and spending so much time on it. So it was just a, pa a basic paint. And here I'm just using 91 steel for belt buckles and things like that. So it's time to move on to the engine. And I'm using 77 dust grey for the uh, main part of the engine here. 
and the other parts of the engine is 91 steel. Like the nature with all these kits, you won't get to see a great deal of this engine once it's in place. So um, I, I decided not to paint too much detail in it, like the cockpit. So it's all just basic paint jobs that I'm doing so far. Next is 83 Ross Red Aqua Colour. And this is for the back section of the engine. As I said, you will not uh, see this once the uh, cowling's on. But the reason why I do this, uh, one, I know it's painted, um, just for me really. And two is, if I decide to have the cow off, um, most of the work is done for that on the engine. You know, it just gives me options down the build. This is why I'm also using 93 copper. These parts you will get to see, well, glimpse, even if the cow's on. So, um, it's um, good to do these. It's also, also good practice as well uh, if you're not used to uh, doing engines. All this basic paint work will give you an understanding how it should look anyway. Now it's back to the cockpit before I begin assembly and there's just a, a couple of little paint touch-ups I'm doing. For instance, this is the headrest. So I'm just painting this in uh, the, the leather colour and of course the inner walls of the cockpit itself which is the 360 fan green, the one I, the same colour I used uh, for the copy. And as you can see, once more, I'm putting this paint on quite thinly, uh, brushing off any excess and just um, putting it on as gently as possible. You don't, it doesn't need much. Um, just be aware when you're, yeah, you're doing this, what parts will be visible uh, when everything is closed up. And in that vein, while I've got the fan green paint out, I'm just um, painting, roughly painting in the areas which will be visible throughout the aircraft once it's closed up. It's now time to assemble the cockpit. So first of all, the seat in back air bulkhead is going on. There's a lot of contact, uh, contact points for this to sit in, but um, it lines up fairly well. Yeah, the only problem is it's a little bit tight. You have to press quite firmly to get it into the location points. Next is the pilot, also that just uh, pops into the seat. A little bit checking, make sure it fits uh, before applying the cement. However, there wasn't any fitting issues uh, with it. And then the next part to go on is the control stick. I always like to put this in before I place the um, instrument panel on because it just gives you more room to manoeuvre everything into position. And once I was happy with that, it's time to place in the instrument panel. Same with the bulkhead, the contact points are a little bit tight, but everything fitted in quite well. So as I'm placing this in, this is where I'll end the video. So if you haven't done so already, why don't you check out the channel for my other builds. If you're subscribed to the channel, make sure you hit that notification bell. That way you'll be kept up to date with all my builds, including this one. Hit that like button. Don't be afraid to leave a comment. And of course, you can share the video. But for now, thank you all very much for watching. Bye bye.